Hi guys. What's up? I'm trying to fix my camera here. Um, what's up guys? I hope you guys are having a great day, great night, whatever. Um, whatever day, time of the day it is. I hope you guys are having a great day in general, honestly. Okay, I'm talking way too much. <laughs> Alrighty. But I wanted to come sit here and talk to you guys a little bit about um, something I've had on my mind. Um, and I think we'll help you guys out. So this is more like a teen mom to teen mom conversation. Or honestly, like I, like I always say, this can relate to any mom. But since I am a teen mom, I feel like I relate better to other teen moms, if that makes any sense. So that is what we're doing today. Um, it's currently 10, 12 at night. And I'm filming for you guys because I feel like the night time is where I lay down with my kids. I tell them goodnight and I think about things like this. So the topic that we will be talking about is how I was able to get over my relationship. I know a lot of you might have the same questions. You might just be barely getting into um, a relationship where you guys are having a baby. You guys are te you guys are teenagers. You're trying to figure it out. And so, first I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about my relationship, uh, my previous relationship, and how it ended up. And then I will tell you guys what I'm gonna talk about today. So, I was with their dad for about six years, um, and I was like. I was like, what did I say? Like, I was in love with him. Like, I would do anything for him. And because my mentality was, I have to stay with him. I don't want to be like the statistics. I remember I'd go to school and everyone would tell me, well, you guys are going to like this and that and blah, blah, blah. And I would just hate being a t st statistic. And so I remember I would do whatever possible to make my life seem perfect online and, you know, in real life. And so... After that, you know, I started my own YouTube channel, and I, I would still make my life seem, like, good, perfect, you could say. Um, but then after a while, I realized that that wasn't the truth. Um, and sadly, teen with teen pregnancies, with having babies so young, comes along problems maybe of your past, um, maybe of their past. Um, you guys do, just don't know how to be in relationships, honestly. It's difficult to have a baby and deal with the relationship and go to school and have a relationship with your parents and have friends you feel like the whole world is just crashing down on you so um like I said in the beginning of my relationship I was like like I was a ride or die chick um and then we ended up going through some things and I ended up losing trust um I ended up losing a lot for my partner um my ex-partner um and we try to recover what was lost except it's really hard to do that um, and I mean I had forgiven him and everything it was just hard to gain trust and love back whenever it was lost um, so maybe this can be another video but I ended up I kept trying and it was just something like within me like I wanted to end it but then I didn't want to end it because I was so used to being in this relationship. Um, hold on, guys. I'm going to put my hair down because I don't like the way it looks in the video. <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind. It was difficult for me because I was so used to being in this relationship. And so, after I grew up a little bit, because, I mean, I had my kids so young, you guys. I had um, Anthony over I was, like, 13. And then I had Leah and I was 16. It was just like this crazy craziness um, that I get judged for a lot. But um, after I grew up, because obviously you grow up in the time that... Hold on, why is this like this? You you guys both grow up or um, you guys start growing whenever you guys are in a relationship. Because you're going to stay the same way that you guys were. A lot happens while you guys are growing up. And it might be at the difficult part or whatever. But um, you start growing and you start changing and everything starts changing the circumstances the situations are changing the turning point for my relationship or the turning point that really opened my eyes was whenever I had Leah um, and so this is the part that might help you guys a little bit for those that seem stuck for those that seem like in a relationship that you love this person but this person did something to hurt you and it did something they did I don't know they just broke your heart or they lost your trust um, this is the part that might help you if you are in a teen relationship a teen parenting relationship where you guys are both teenagers and trying to figure this thing out um, so I used to say all the time that I would stick with him because I, my parents were divorced and I wanted to have that relationship and I didn't want my kids to go without their 
dad and their mom and I would always say that so I would always try my hardest to keep this relationship um, really going and um, then I had Leah uh, my pregnancy was horrible because I was just really down depressed I was just in a horrible mood and then I had Leah and I think what really opened my eyes to seeing my relationship in a different way was seeing my kids maybe like suffer through that relationship um, and then also I would whenever I would go through a situation in my life I would be like what if Leah came to me and asked me and told me the situation what would I tell her or if Anthony came to me and he said he did this what would I tell him so from that day forward I decided to actually like view life through a different perspective you could say because my first perspective was I have to be in this relationship because I have to be in this relationship I have to make my life perfect because that's what everyone expects I have to be in this relationship because my parents didn't work out and I have to work out that was just my perspective back then so he could break my heart all he want he could hurt me all he want but I would always come back to this relationship because this relationship my perspective was if I'm not in this relationship I'm gonna break my kids heart I my kids are gonna grow up messed up like my family and I was just I really didn't want that so that was my perspective on the first half of my relationship then I had Leah and I started viewing it a different way and then I started saying I don't want my daughter around um, you know people like this that I was that I had her involved in I don't want my children around this it, they were just bad influences and um, I you know I need to change so I decided to move back and then it was it has never been the same after that um, so I have just not been the same person after that and it's really hard to deal with that like I went through my brother's death I went through my other brother going through some really hard things in life I went through you know my mom's heartbreaking I went through some horrible things so I was just not the same person and then we started we tried to get back into the relationship because I moved back and then like a year later he moved back um to where I lived um and then we tried like doing it all over again didn't last for very long we were on and off and then I would just what really changed my viewpoint was um one time where we were like arguing and it didn't get physical it didn't get like violent but it got to a point where like like it got I don't know how to explain that without it sounding horrible and you guys are like oh my gosh um, it got to a point where I was just where we're really angry and I was like and some things happened and sorry guys I know I hate I hate when youtubers do this as well you are like what happened um, but you know things happen and I remember I, I sat down that day and I said do you, what if Leah came to you and said, Mom, this person did this to me last night, and this is how I felt. And I just, I started thinking about it, and I remember just sitting there and crying because what I would tell her was not what I was doing in my life. Um, and I would be like, you know, Leah, get out of that relationship. It's not healthy for you. It doesn't matter if you guys have two kids. It's not healthy for you. Um, look at your mental state. So I wasn't living what I would tell her. And so, you know, that's just, that's just the way I started viewing things. And so that's the way I slowly started getting out of that relationship habit or that relationship that I was just so used to because if I if, if I were to tell Leah and Anthony something it'd be like fall in love fall in love with somebody that you love because I've been there where you like love somebody but they don't love you or they don't know if they love you and then it's just this complicated thing that nobody knows how to explain <laughs> except if you've been in it so I mean if I were sitting in front of Leah and Anthony whenever they're grown up or whenever they're the age of dating or anything I'd be like just I want you to find somebody that you truly truly love that you truly truly take care of and that you truly work hard for that person um, and I wasn't living that out for myself so if you're a teen parent if you're a teen mom teen dad whatever you are you're facing maybe like something that you don't know how to deal with um, I would encourage you to look at it at a, from a different perspective in your life and it would really help you so just look at it like if you were in an abusive relationship, what would you tell your daughter if you had one? Um, you know, what would you tell her? Would you be like, 
hey, you need to get out of this relationship? Or would you tell her to sit in through the relationship, stick through it? And what you really truly have to say and what you would say defines who you really are because I know for me personally I'd be like Leah that's not a healthy relationship with you for you Anthony that's not healthy for you to do it's not a healthy relationship for you to be in um so I don't know I've just been picturing it like that I picture it more femininely because and more motherly because I am a mother and I have Leah now I definitely know if I were a male if I were a man um I would view it a different way because um maybe I would compare myself a lot to Anthony and that's why I don't understand really because um I say if I'm a mother and I can picture myself like this um I could just like I would imagine that a father could do that as well um you know and sadly that's not always the case like if I were you know my ex-partner I'd be like what would and what would I tell Anthony in this situation would I tell him to go smoke a blunt would I tell him to go drink to relieve the stress of what I tell him, you know, Anthony, go and love her and be with her and listen to her and just, if you're, just work your butt off for her and, I don't know, you know, it's, just look at it a different perspective and if you're a father, maybe look at it in a different way because of course this might not relate to you at all because I am looking at it in a motherly way, but just sit there sometimes and think about that it might help you out and that's really what helped me out um just thinking about my daughter and my kids and what i want to show them and if i'm truly living what i would tell them to do and i wasn't so i had to make a change because nothing was changing and i mean a lot was changing but that person and that's not okay so that's it that's all i have for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this type of video if you guys did make sure to give it a thumbs up um leave me your comments down below i have a few recommendations thank you katie i think that's your name for always being so sweet to me on instagram um and um, always commenting on my videos and you know leaving me those recommendations of videos so i really appreciate you i see you i hope you guys i hope you know that um so thank you for so much for that love and support and um yeah that's that you guys so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye guys